A long line of excited voters turned out in the rain to hear Barack Obama. Uh, we're going to vote for Obama. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Obama the man. Many were first-time voters encouraged by what they see as Obama's sincere interest in redirecting the nation. Really, he's just somebody that I know I can look up to and follow his ways. Because he's just an inspiration to everybody. And some compared him to other great leaders. He reminds me a lot like um, a lot of uh, JFK. And once inside, Obama delivered. He said he was going to end the war, increase taxes on the wealthy, and raise the minimum wage every year. The war in Iraq should have never been authorized and should have never been waged. And he brought them to their feet with a cheer led by a city councilwoman from Greenwood, South Carolina. Senator Obama, you're just so special. <laughs> so this is for you. Fight up! Fight up! Ready to go! Ready to go! Fight up! Fight up! Ready to go! Ready to go! As Obama left, grabbing hands and hugging supporters, he left the crowd of 2,000 hopeful that he would be the first African-American president. As an African-American woman, I've never seen that happen. So, of course, we would be excited to see that, and of course, we would be the first ones to come and see Barack Obama. So I would imagine that that's why you saw the majority of African-Americans, because this would be a person that looks like us that could possibly be the next president of the United States. In Aiken, I'm Beth Williams for the Metro Spirit.